man of God said so many things. And let me tell you something. Everything he told me, he said, I saw you in the wrong place. The moment you leave, you go there. Everything you were looking for. Husband, today I'm, I'm Sandra Wiggins. I'm married to an American. At my age, I'm married. Oh! And this is my, this shows that um, I'm a permanent resident of America. And this shows that um, any data they want to get, anything concerning me is this one. Every American has this. And I have it too. I want us to hear her testimony first. So that when you hear that God said, you will never joke with it. With all pleasure, I want to use this medium to bring in my daughter, my international evangelist, that the Lord spoke to face to face on this very mountain and stared her face to face that a year of that very day, the Lord made a promise in her life that she will be in United States of America. And the date was fixed by God. Even when there was no visa, even when there was no arrangement, when there was no invitation, when there was nothing that they would say, okay, this is the evidence for the travel. But the Lord spoke and gave her a date face to face with God right on this mount of possibility. And she believed God and God told her, that she's going to be the international evangelist that will now travel from one country to another and the countries of the whole world with all pleasure let's welcome evangelist dr sandra gozika shineke my name is evangelist sandra wiggins but i live here as a sandra uzuko but today my status have changed my level has changed hey! praise the lord I came to say thank you, Jesus, because I don't know where to start. I left this place battered, shattered, and broken. But today, I give glory to God what God has done in my life. If you are coming into this place and you're coming with a double heart or a double mind, I want you to change your orientation from this moment. I am a living testimony. Before this time, you've seen me in the YouTube. I am the same person that the man of God have been telling you people most times I, I joined the service online I am coming from United States of America but before then that was this situation that no man can change and when I came in that fearful day at the counseling don't think that counseling does not matter because You've been seeing the prophet every day. He's not what you think he is. He's a true man of God. Yeah. He's a prophet of God. I am not talking just, just this people that write prophet, this and that. That is it's not what I mean. When you mean a prophet in the Bible, it's somebody that will say things that will happen in years to come. My prophecy came seven years back. And today it has come to pass. Yeah. I came in that fateful day and the man of God said, um, what are you doing here? I turned as if somebody was behind me. He said, I'm talking to you. I said, I came for counseling. He said, that's not what I mean. You're not supposed to be here. I said, I don't know. He said, where is your international passport? I say it's at home. He said, No, it's not at home. I saw your passport in the graveyard. I said, No. He said, You just made a trip from outside the country. I said, Yeah. I said, I just came in from India. He said, Yes. Immediately you came back from India. Your, your passport was stolen spiritually and was buried in the graveyard. And he said again, Where is your senior sister? I said, That um, she's late. He bent down and said, If not, that God is with you. If it's possible for her to take you to the grave with her, she would have done that. She tried everything humanly possible to make sure you're no more. But when it failed, she's still coming around you. But tomorrow is Thursday. Come with your, your, that passport. He asked me another question. He said, do you know where is United States of America? I said, yes. I said, I saw you 
in United States of America by this time next year. And that was June. Praise the Lord. Clap that hand. Clap that hand for Jesus. Lord, if you are clapping for Jesus, you clap for Jesus. You are not here for politics. I'm not here to, you know, to make you believe what I'm saying, but I'm telling you what happened. Have you seen me before? Some few people might have seen me before. Maybe a few of you know me. You know me when I used to see when I used to be in the elder seat. So they, um, I was only elder in council. Evangelists, they can look at the screen and see you, then and me. Look at the screen. Watch your screen. That that is her. That is the testimony of this very great testimony she is testified. That is her. Do I look the same today? Oh my God! Is there changes? Hallelujah! That, Continue. That, that is the power of prophecy. This is the power of prophecy. Prophecies transforms people to the next level. Tells you what God has in stock for you. No matter how long it takes for what he has told you, I don't know how many of you has prophesied to. No matter what he's told, he has told you, but I've been waiting now. The, the, the container where he said they are packed, never come now. Now, even this one, I like it's not like it's true 100%. Just wait on the Lord. So, on that faithful day, he said, he told me so many, two, so many, several things. And he said, I am seeing you in New York. As at that time, he was talking to me, as you see me there, I don't have 1,000 naira on my own. 1,000 naira, you know what is as small as 1,000, I don't have it. I say, ah, they don't start to in New York, okay. I said, I beg. When I left, in, so he now told me that, go and bring your passport first, and let's start from there. So the following day, I came here again. I went to the back and sat. When he said the prophecy, he came straight. After one person, he came straight to me at the back. I thought he would not recognize me. He came back to me and said, you stand up. Where is your passport? I said, it's inside my pocket. He said, bring it out. In a congregation like this. I brought it out. He rushed to the altar and raised it before God and said, this, you see this passport? It's going to take you all over the world. That he's, co he's converting this passport to all international countries into this same passport. I didn't understand it because I was ignorant. So he said that there was um, an invitation that was given to you from US you did not use. Another one is coming up very soon. But this time around, it's going to be sponsored by the same person that brought it to you. I said, Amen. So that day, he prayed for me. The congregation, he told the congregation to push back that spirit that was slowing me all the time, with that familiar spirit that was coming with my sister's face. He pushed it into the graveyard. And from that day to this moment, my, that, that spirit never came up again. And my transformation started. Praise the Lord. The very month. He said the, past, the invitation will come. It came. And my in-law that gave me the invitation had to put money for me to go to the embassy to get, make sure that that invitation was honored. What I mean is that I had to pay for visa fee. I went for visa fee and all that. Before I went to the embassy, one of God said, Go and buy me a, 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 a size book, a, a size book, a new one, and a pen. And I did. That was on a Thursday. Said I'm going to set three questions on that uh, on that size book. If you be able to get it correctly, that means when you go to the embassy, they are going to give you the same question, and you are going to pass. If you fail here, right here, you are going to fail there. Wow. Put your hand together. Clap that hand for the Lord Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Amen. At this minute, at this point, I was um, I was confused and um, there was fears. If I fail here, I fail there, and I never wanted to fail. And I prayed. He asked me three questions, and I answered it. And when I gave it to him, he said they were correct. And I went to the embassy the following two days. The moment I walked in, the first thing that entered with me was the, the angel of mounts of possibility. Hey! He went straight to the guy. So, the, you know, people that have gone to the embassy, you know what I mean? People queue up when it is your time. 
you come in. What I saw was that the guy that was bringing people right there just waved at me and I walked straight to him. Like 14 people before me, he brought me in front of them. I don't know him. <laughs> Our God jumps protocols. That a protocol was broken that morning because the God of possibility went with me. Yes. And he said, stand here. He said, when this person goes from, get out from there, go there. I went there. People was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. maybe I have paid. <laughs> I didn't bribe anyone because I didn't have more than 1,000. Even the money I went there with somebody, chief, that is chief here, chief God and unable to the glory of God is here in the church. He gave me money to, for transportation to go to the embassy. You know how bad it is for people to begin to lift you. I'm telling you, it was terribly bad. It was bad, really bad. I was poor, more than a church rat. But I didn't know what God was keeping for me that I was going through a wilderness experience. Oh my God! So if you are going the same process, I'm, I went there. I'm telling you, look at me today. And when you come to church, don't go and squeeze money to give to God if you have it. Give dangerously. If you give dangerously, you see how God will reward you. So that faithful day, when I got there, the protocol was broken. Immediately, the, that man went there. The woman looked at, just opened my passport hurriedly and said, Go and make, do your tongue, tongue print. I went and put my hands because already I'm coming from here. And you know where you are standing? It's a dangerous zone. Oh! Every negativity. So when I step in, the first thing that happened was the interviewer said, Oh, you look beautiful. I said, Thank you. Started admiring me. And that's the glory of God. I said, Thank oh you. He God. said, I like your dress. I said, Thank you. This is an immigration from America telling me this. Instead of saying, Bring this visit, he said, it, You know, I said, Thank you, Jesus. Right inside me, I know that I'm already in the US. He said, Okay. Um, one question. He said, Where are you going to? And that was the first question on the paper. I say, I am going to United States of America. He said, yes. We are in United States of America. I said, I'm going to in, in Austin, in Texas. It's okay. The purpose, it's the second thing he wrote on the paper, the man of God. I said, um, I'm going to represent, and I told him a lot of you know, things that the Holy Spirit manufactured. It's okay, that's beautiful. Okay. Um, how long are you going to stay? I said, two weeks. That's the third question. Never ask me any other thing. <laughs> And he said, okay, I'm, uh, I'm convinced I'm giving you a visa. Before he was telling me all this, the, immediately my passport touches him, he threw it at the back and began to ask me the questions. He said, I'm convinced I'm giving you a visa. You know where you wrote for collection? I said, yes. He said, okay, in the next couple of days, three days, go there and pick your passport. Congratulations and you're welcome to United States. Somebody United. shout hallelujah! I was like, is that all in my mind? <laughs> <laughs> and I face down and I look on to heaven and I say, God, you mean that I'm going to US after all these pains? When I came out from that place, I started crying. People were like, no, now you can go next time. It's, it's not dead, <laughs> this and that. I was overwhelmed with joy. I was crying. They were pitying me. And I was like, oh, this. Cry or joy. I didn't know that my levels changed automatically as I was coming out. So the time came where he told, man of God said so many things. And let me tell you something. Everything he told me, he said, I saw you in the wrong place. The moment you leave, you go there. Everything you were looking for. Husband, today I'm, I'm Sandra Wiggins. I'm married to an American. At my age, I'm married. Oh! So, uh, God bless you. He is my prophet. Anytime, any day. Whether I'm living or I'm, or I'm dead. And when I came in, I was like, I came in in a haste, actually. I would have um, a few days to accomplish one or two things. Prophet, I, I just came for completion of my farm. 
it has been completed and um, very soon the first week of february the job will start hey and, um, everything you told me came to pass Abasimbo. thank you prophet <laughs> you continue to be my prophet Eluwe. i'm very loyal sir oh my Stay god loyal. i came today to um to pay my vow i said god if you take me to yours and bring me home successfully I'm coming to you with a cow, and that's my vow. I came to pay my vow, prophet. This is why I come. Oh my God, daughter, let me say something to you. I needed you to round up because there is a higher promise. Yes, prophet. That is about to fulfill. Thank you, prophet. I want to hear the testimony when you now got there. Yeah. What the Lord did. Okay. That can make you to just flew in anytime and go back to the United States. Yes, Prophet. Go ahead. So, uh, in the course of um, raising my passport, uh, please, Chairman, did you come with my um, did you come with my documents? Yes or no? Okay, my snow brother has my documents. I would have shown you. Somebody clap a hand for Jesus. <laughs> he lifted my international passport. And called in. Thank you. Okay. This is my immediate senior brother. Clap that hand for Jesus. This is my. Sorry. Huh? No more. Is is no more the green passport? This is my. Uh, this is my. This shows that I'm. I'm a permanent resident of America. And this shows that um, any data they want to get, anything concerning me is this one. Every American has this, and I have it too. So, oh my God! With, with this, I'll just go to any embassy and tell them that I want to visit. They'll ask me how long they want to stay with us. That means you don't need visa to travel to maybe no, no, any other no, country? No, no, no. This is just anywhere you want to go. Yes, I will just, I will just apply, and they will not say no because I'm a permanent. Somebody resident. clap their hand now. When you hear that God will make somebody a citizen, this is it. So, uh, as I speak, um, I was delaying my um, my international passport because I wanted to, to come Nigeria. To co I wanted to come to Nigeria, so I had no time to go. To get to go get it, so I'm going to get it before um, maybe by December next this coming December when I'll be coming back again. I'll be coming with my international passport. Can you please clap that hand for Jesus? I, I, I wasn't qualified. I wasn't qualified if it's for qualification to have this, but God just brought us somebody that people discussed. If it's to be talking about class, that's nothing like class. You are classless when you cannot change any situation or change anybody. You are classless. Do you know my class? Don't do that. If I was looking at class, I wouldn't have gotten this. So when the brother man, I didn't pay dime, but people pay like fifteen thousand now. They pay like eighteen thousand dollars to be able to marry and go through a process, maybe they will fail before they get this. But this was given to me in a plot of gold. Somebody clap that hand. Can you clap that hand for the Lord Jesus? The day I was going for this, I called the prophet and said, oh, I'm going for interview. He said, for what? I said, for the papers. No, the, the, the papers has been established even before you left for US. Just go get them and come back. I was like, what is, what is wrong with prophet? I, I wanted him to pray now. <laughs> oh my god that, that was what i said though i'm not gonna lie i saw this wrong prophet i was looking for here i wanted him to kabad he said go and get it daughter of zion you already have it one question was asked i i saw you in the system in um in history so what are you doing in your work Holy Spirit manufactured another thing to answer, and I answered. Oh! As I was even talking, she was filling my papers by herself. <laughs> then uh, my partner was 
by the way, by the side. At the time, that one said, oh, say thank you to my wife, Sandra. I would have died in, during the COVID if not that uh, she took me to hospital. You had COVID? He said, yes. How long has it been that? He said, two months. He said, please, can you both stand up? That was the Holy Spirit that did that through him. He said, stand up, stand up. He said, I'm done with you people. Sandra, in the, in the next three days, your papers are coming. In the next three days, all these things came. Hey! And today, as I speak, I'll go to anywhere I wish to. If I don't want to go back to U.S. from here, I'll just uh, stop my ticket and say, I'll go to, I'll just fill from to the, to British or anywhere. Italy, anywhere I wish to. And um, I'll, I'll tell them. Barakato Shembra Hadigala. Somebody clap down for Jesus Christ. Prophet, no be powder. Power, no be powder. Eh? Prophet is a prophet. And when he prophesies, something happened. Uh, my daughter. Yes, prophet. The Lord told me that the office of evangelist has been switched to apostolic. Amen. And that is the ordination you are getting right now. Amen. Before you leave here. Amen. Because you will no longer address her as Evangelist Sandra. You address her now as Apostle Sandra. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. Your apostolic oil have been waiting on this altar for since how many years that you traveled? And today is the day. That it is going to come. Thank you, Prophet. Remember the covenant God told you that all over the world yeah. they will hear the voice of God from you. Yes, you said so. Somebody clap their hand for Jesus. And God has been honoring that. And uh, sometimes people will call me, tell me their dreams, or will tell me that they have this problem. And when I pray with them, they'll receive answers. In fact, prophet, that are that is that is, it's not every testimony I'm going to give out here. I know, I know. There are testimonies that is supposed to have, you know, to remain with the prophet. Yes. God has been so awesome. Quran, Jesus, I can. Awesome. So awesome. 